Would you well, believe me if I told you that there were some? Would you believe me that I told you there were some bad Mario games? Well, you don't say. Tell us what those bad Mario games are. I should just say bad games in general. It's when games try to make learning fun. <laughs> even well, though it's nearly I, impossible. I never even heard of this one. I know By the way, I believe the, I believe the correct question is the new series, because everyone knows the new Mario games are legitimately bad. <laughs> oh, shush. The only one I've heard of was Mario's Time Machine, and I've had that on PC. But yes, this is all made by a company known as the Software Toolworks, or something like that, I think. Um, software? So Softworks? I keep the forgetting. What kind of... So, I this is... Peach, Peach, baby, this, what have they what done the to you? What the hell with Peach? I don't know. This is back. This is back when she was just princess. Let's go to listening world. Listening world. What? Jesus. Yeah, for the hearing impaired. Welcome to listening world. What's this? You found the donkey. Uh, oh, that's exactly what I feel like right now playing this game. <laughs> you found the uh, jackass. I don't know why, but so, I was half expecting this you game, to. Oh, hey, that horse looks like Epona. You either select them. If you click on Luigi, you start a quiz mode. Picture which makes this sound. Oh, that's a goose. I thought that was a dead. So I, thought was a, I thought that was a dying duck. That for me. What's that little monkey that just popped out? I don't know. Okay, what's the next one? Oh, I'm a pro at that. <laughs> <laughs> I studied. Jackass. Yeah, I love that freaking voice. That works for me. Like that's Mario or something. I think it's the monkey because it pops up every time the monkey pops up. And I was actually half expecting you to use the donkey thing to make equip it, James. So, uh, oh, pff, ha. but anyway, yeah, that was Listening World. What's next? Um, what else is there? We have shapes. Let's try shapes. Okay. So it's just called shapes? How imaginative. Shapes worlds because it's just. And as you're hearing, you're gonna hear a lot of, you're gonna hear a lot of um, public domain songs played on the Super Nintendo sound engine. I'm just gonna go. Let's go well, that was fun. Yeah, this is not. So yeah, this is preschool fun. There were three other games: fun with letters, fun with numbers, and then this one. And honestly, Let's go each there. one is pretty much the same. Oh, well, at least this right doesn't look bad. Hey, monkey. Yeah, I was about to. Hey, hey dude. Overalls are a bit longer. Hey, you like this life size? On his overalls? Sorry. Snap your fingers. Yay. See, so, yeah, this is exactly as it's looking. So, okay. So, yeah, to explain the video, Wiggle your nose. this is an entire thing. Ah, doing shoot! Some of the... Excuse me. Touch your chin. Touch your chin. Touch your chin. <laughs> me, me. Okay, what, come on. You really? gotta give me something. Touch your chin? I thought there was a. Really? really? <laughs> give me something. How? Software tools. How give me something. You, okay, Logan. fine. That's I wouldn't have resort to that. <laughs> Fine. Love you, hun. Let's go to opposite go world. To opposite world. And let's learn about how what oh, things Oh, we're going to Topsy Tipsy Topsy Turvy Land? Yay. Yeah, I, don't know. I was totally worried about it. illegal to clean clothes. One, which is hot. So, in any case. And you wear your so, clothes yeah. like so. Every single one of the Mario's early years are basically just these stupid, like, mouse and click things. And if you clicked on Luigi, the green pipe uh, takes you to different variations of the same exact game. And if you click on Luigi, you can do a quiz game where you can try and find things. It's as shallow and boring as you think. Uh, yeah, agreed. If anything, not even a three-year-old would. Yeah, not even a three-year-old would hold much interest in this. Yeah, what else is there? We can try the balloons. Balloons. When I was a kid, I play Sesame Street. Let's go to what the? Oh dear. What? I see an elephant. Oh, Ronald! Oh, that's perfect. Let's just go. Whoa, I'm gonna whoa, go. I'm, got, I'm back from grocery shopping! But yeah, okay. as I was saying, I would rather play Sesame Street ABC 123s on the other That being said, I mean, okay, granted, so this was a very early point in Mario in the Mario series' history, but now, even nowadays, how hard would it be to make an edutainment Mario game and actually make it, you know, well, let's decent find out. for kids? Because now we're doing Mario's Time Machine. Great. Oh, here we go. Cool. It's hey, time, hi, my cunning Coopers, to use the time machine and steal game. the most valuable artifacts that history has to offer. Mario, my collection is almost complete, and there's not a thing that you can do to stop me. Maniacal laugh. <laughs> Bowser's museum That's is inside it. his castle. I have to get in there and return all the stolen artifacts before history is fucked up forever. 
I prefer the Nintendo game line. It's more dramatic. Ooh, at last, Bowser's castle. I'll show that no good reptile. He can't mess with history as long as I'm around to set things right. So, oh, hang on. The greatest oh, yeah, collection nice. of all time is nearly complete, and it's all mine. No one can stop me now. Not even Mario or his little uh, brother. Oh my God! You uh, sa Sarah, you, would you, you sounded just like the original Bowser. Uh, Sarah, here's your here's oh, your here's your, here's your here's your secondary hot dog as you ordered. Oh, thank you. Oh, I thank well, you. Seriously, you look fat as there. So this is Mario's time machine. Fun fact: I actually owned this originally on the old Super Nintendo, but for sake of recording, I'm doing it on the SNES. You poor, uh, poor, poor soul. Hmm. So I think the statues in the back are cool, like those are the Koopa Kids. Yeah, they could oh, be worse. I'm starving. So, yummy! Let me put X. We actually have to return this to an owner. So I'm going to step you through the process of how you have to beat every level in this game. Because it's a freaking chore. Yeah, so, it is. We have this apple. I used to be stuck in this because I didn't know what you are supposed to do. When you hit the R key, you get this big old textbook thing. Talking about Isaac huh. Newton. And then I have to then hit the A button and select. Uh, I said hit the A button and select the things to fill in the blanks here. Now, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to. You see the thing at the top where it says Cambridge 1687? Uh huh. You're supposed to use that data to correctly enter in the right time into the time machine, which we'll get to by hitting the L button later. And then go back in time, and you're supposed to then learn all these facts. But Logan, Logan said, "Forget that shit. I'm gonna look up a guide." I, I actually yeah, don't remember the, this on the PC version. They may have removed it. I don't know, or maybe they found a way you could just type instead of having to select from a really old list. Like, look at this. Wow. <laughs> there, just... spectrum. But yeah, it's like to be fair, Seely, the P PC version and the uh, Super Nintendo slash NES versions of uh, this game are radically different. Like, the PC version is the one that gave us the, those amazingly gorgeous 2, 2D sprites for both Mario and Luigi. I'll be showing that off later. A little Great. bit. Anyway. So there. And that's how I got all the points for this. That's what you're supposed to do. So now, let's see how Mario can make time travel boring. Wait, wait, wait. You mean this is, this is actually mandatory? I'm I think sorry. this is also thought... just to improve your score. Why is it starting me off with this? I thought it was supposed to teach me this. Now it's just assuming I already know it. We're supposed to learn from asking people questions and crap, and that takes forever, because at that point it just becomes a point-and-click adventure game. So let's select AD. And not the fun let's kind, find either. Cambridge. So when's, so when's the part where I start stopping on the Goombas? I have some bad news to tell you, Mario. You don't Aww. get to do that. What? But but so my life is not complete unless I unless I smash the Goombas' heads in. I mean the sprite work isn't too bad. Like this screen, like this time machine looks pretty cool. Okay, well, yeah, I hit the I A like button. It. Here we go. I wonder how the hell Mario can carry that thing in the first place. Oh hey, we're surfing with Mario. Yeah, surfing for some reason. Mode seven surfing. Oh it's wow, a... looks like you have to get a lot more mushrooms in the PC version. Yeah, Why is get Mario surfing? I don't know what he's surfing. You know what else, else, else is also annoying? Oh, you can also speed up with the A button. You know what else, else is annoying? You will at times see the mushrooms and spike balls disappear like that before, but they're still there, just for some reason they stop rendering. Do you lose a mushroom if you hit a spike ball? I think so. Um, is this, a, is this an emulation quirk, or does this happen in the game proper as well? I've seen videos of people playing the game, and they also say it happens, so it could either be they were also emulating it, or it is just a problem. Wouldn't be surprised because let's be fair here. This was this game and the and the next other game we're going to be showing off just after this. We're given with like half a fuck. Well, yeah, this was like just this was around the first and last time Nintendo ever let any other company handle their. IP. True. I mean, this was around '93 or so. You want to know what other game they made around '93 or '94? Hotel Mario. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they okay. So now they have ten mushrooms. Go into the world. Woohoo! Oh boy. And that's Actually, how you time travel. I was about to say, technically that crack about handing other people their games, I don't think that's even necessarily true, because if you think about it, there's quite a few quite a few actually good Mario games that were technically handled by other companies. You know, you have stuff like Alpha Dream, Next Level Games, hey, Dungeon Systems. Well, okay, more more like more like they're a little more strict about who gets to handle the rights. Basically, they let those that actually have good, you know experience under their belt actually make the Mario game for them. Hey, Isaac Newton. Hey there, Mr. Newton. My, that's a I lovely pop apple. you got there. Cool. Oh, good heavens, that's it. The apple falls for the same reason that the moon orbits the Earth. 
goodness, if only there was an apple tree about 10 feet behind me where I could have gotten this treasure from without having you go through time travel to give it to me. I cannot comprehend the physics of how you managed to jump. Oh, it's so funny. It's classical topical humor. Most elementary school kids will get this. And this is what you're supposed to do. what's this place? Um, this is my, this is my good man, it's the Royal Society. We are a collection of learned men of science who need to promote scientific discussion. I cannot imagine your business well, here. Well, excuse me, I was just asking about Newton. I see, a friend of Isaac's, eh? Just true, it must be said he's one of the great minds of age. He was made a full-fledged member at the age of 30. And there, that's how you got, that's how you get the hint for 30. Wow, what he do? He may have put me out of business. Take this lens. I grind precision lens for telescopes. The Newtonian reflecting telescope may make them obsolete. And that's how What's you a reflecting, reflecting telescope? telescope? Oh, well, screw that. Bye. Let's go back in time. Let's go back to the present with our what little mini the Death heck? Star. That's how you go back in time. Wow. And there you go. That is. I just beat a level. Well, now do this. Now do this 14 more times, and you've beaten the game. Screw you, Mario's time machine. Well, at least we have partners in time. I mean, I mean, it may true. not be my favorite in the Mario and Luigi series, but at least it's a better time machine, time traveling Mario game than this. And then you just, and then that's it. You have to do all four, five of them. You go into the next room, do it three more times, do it two, do it for a total of three times, fifteen levels, and freaking that's it. You you beat the game, and it's it, it felt really. Rushed. Orleans well, it's like it was. Oh, it's it's like it was made like like this game and the uh, next game we're about to cover were, were made like the exact same time. Fine. All right. Let's get to the one we all been wanting to get oh, to. Oh boy, like, here we go. Missing. Wait, what? The first I'm missing. Ever Luigi what? Where am I? <laughs> You'll, never know, You'll never know, Mario. You'll never know. Totally not oh, look, ripped off almost... of Mario World. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, it almost looked like we we're about to play a good game. Mario is. <laughs> Yeah. Missing. Oh no! <laughs> oh wait a minute, we forgot the letters. Got him back in there. <laughs> so yeah, guess what? We're now in the real world, and we're in Antarctica. Ouch! Because Bowser has his lair here. Oh! Let you oh get the right in. Come on, let's go. I really hate to say this, but I remember when Jumpsuit Mario oh, rambled, again? rambled about it when someone mentioned Mario. Well, wow, that was weird. You wait here. I'm gonna go find him. Yoshi, and Yoshi's just all like, "What the hell is going on here?" How not to two tur <laughs> head turning sprites? It, it's so weird looking at that because I just realized that. Um, to be honest, Jumpsuit Mario kind of ruined the experience for me with how much he rambled on about it. Who? Oh, oh, him. Oh, it's some, well, being fair, anyway. being fair, yeah, well, I don't think anyone would have a good experience with this to begin with, especially Peanut Butter Game. So again, well, so again, I'm going to show off another level of the game. Sir, oh yeah, by the way, sir, um. <gasps> Cool place! Just what I wanted to it's see! Stomp him! Bam! Yeah. Whoa, Whoa! What the hell? And there, we picked up something. What I get? Well, we can look at the artifact that it's a big arrow thingy. An arrow. It's never had. So, yeah, this is our menu. There's a photo album where you can take pictures, an artifact, a computer to do up research, the globulator, which will be a, a big part of it later, <laughs> and the city map. There are three artifacts in each level that we have to return. This computer, I guess, is supposed to help you figure out tools and boring, optional, arbitrary well, let, let me put it to you this way, ladies and gentlemen. This game is essentially where in the world is Mar Mario... <laughs> where in the world is a good Mario game? So, yeah, so now we have to... This is actually a world map. There's South Cape Town, Africa, South Africa. Really? Oh, actually, now we're... Yeah, it's a, it's a world map, and we have to go to Europe. Because the way the Globulator works is if we want to use Yoshi in the level... We need to tell Yoshi where to go properly. This so is ridiculous. This is already just ridiculous. So actually, I, tell I just him, okay, realized. Rome, Italy. I just realized something. Jenna's made the joke about this game being like, "Where in the world's Carmen San Diego?" Mario's time machine <laughs> is very much where in time is Carmen San Diego. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. They, they just took. The, they just brought the franchise there. Which now that it? I told. Now that I. Now that I correctly computed the globulator properly, Yoshi should be right there. And this is what the city map looks like. Isn't it so cute? It's like it's Mario World. Like it's a good game. Sure. Anywho, we're over there next to that blue pipe in the sort of the upper right area where you see the Yoshi. So hard to tell because all those Koopas are in the way. Yeah, it's very cluttered. So that now we're Yoshi right here, much faster. Oh, we can't. We have to go on the sidewalk and be polite. Jeez. Me. Oh, hey, oh, hey, hey. Gigi. 
<laughs> Where, why is the Trevi Fountain called? I want to return the spear. Yeah, I have the Gladiator spear. Let me see the Gladiator spear. Come back me up when I... Okay, we need you to know, find You okay. know, the Mushroom ta Mushroom Kingdom must be going through hard times if Peach has to start taking other jobs, aside from being the fucking ruler of a nation. Okay, yeah. so this is how it works. So I have something I need to go to the correct information booth, so I have to start wandering around to find those information Oh god, that fr the, fr the frontal face of Yoshi there looks so... There. Ooh. You have to prove you're good. Okay, I have the item on my hand, but she says, I don't believe you. Why don't you answer some of my questions, and then I'll believe that's the real spear. It's like, really? Well, being fair, for all she know, it could have been forged. 50,000 people. Well, who would use the spear? Gladiators. And that's all it takes for her to buy that it's not a phony. Amazing. So there, that's, there's one... There is one artifact retrieved. Now I need to find... Here's the other thing. The artifacts, they could be in any one of these Koopas. Again, I was using a walkthrough to figure out which ones to go to. But all those Koopas on the map, any one of them could have the artifact. You have to stomp on every single one of them. If you want to find it the hard way... Well... At least, at least it'll feel. At least doing that makes it feel much more like a Mario game than just running around looking for shit. True. Even There's though you're still essentially action. doing that. Yeah, right. You're right. And, okay, so there's the information I need to. Yeah, and also, it's like, other than that, they seem very peaceful. Like the Koopas don't seem to be bugging anyone. But yeah, no, it's, no, it's, just, it really is a good thing we're not. It is such a good thing we're not playing the PC version, otherwise. Yeah. Oh, I'll be showing off the PC version later. Well, I have never to. Mind that. Oh no! Well, no well, not, well, not entire, well, not entire level, just my favorite part of it. Yeah. My favorite just part of it. Just be glad that. Yeah. Oh. There oh is. shit! Oh, whoa! Oh god, you are. That goes. And I thought fucking Mar. And I thought Mario. And I thought Mario Strikers was brutal. That right there. Well, I, I got the dying. Sistine Chapel. Wait, you have the Sistine Chapel? Yay. I have yeah. the Sistine Chapel. That is what the artifact is titled. I have the Sistine Chapel in my pocket right yeah. now. Yeah, he put the Sistine wow. Chapel in his pants. It, that's okay, that's it. You have the roof of a. I don't know how big the Sistine Chapel is, but I'm just going to assume it's a big place. You have the roof of a big uh, the ceiling. I mean, the ceiling of one of the largest churches in the world in your pants. You know what? Pants, you know what? Yeah. Guybrush has been through worse. Let's be fair there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember Guybrush putting an entire ceiling in his pants. Possibly. Well, have you seen okay. so, half of the shit? The Sistine Chapel ceiling. Yeah, let's answer the questions. What does Sistine mean for? Six. Said it's located in the Vatican. Not underground. In the Vatican, thank you. You've been looking all over town for that ceiling. Wow. Oh, oh then we get money. We get $900. Well, at least you've got to pay the bill somehow. Where you go, because no matter where in the world you go, everyone deals in American currency. Yeah, huh. because we dumb old, dumb old American children wouldn't have known any better. That, you're right, that front Yoshi spread looks weird. It's like... Kind of fat, too. Mar look! Did it really didn't give him a... No, no I know. No, I don't want to look at all this information. Look. There. Look, I have the fountain. It's right here in my... No, pick it up, thank you. Here's the fountain. It was right in front of... Oh. Wow, what fucking... No, coins what, huh? from the fountain. She wanted the um, coins back. What? How would coins from... The fountain, as ludicrous as it sounds, that at least makes more sense than stealing the coins that were in it. <clears throat> and the information booth having to close it all up. But there. Now that I've returned all three artifacts, I can go back and find the blue pipe. Not the globulator. The city map, please. Find the blue pipe. Oh, I gotta go back. I gotta go back the way I came. But No, I, I gotta go back up the way I came twice. Find the blue pipe and then leave the level and then do that probably another 14 times. And why? I wonder why this series never demanded a sequel. Oh, that was a pokey. City secured. What was it doing with the pokey system? there? I don't know. Maybe I think maybe it was keeping you from leaving until you found all the oh, artifacts. I love how I it's know. the Softworks theme when you dun, dun, pass dun, it. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, there it is. Well, that was that's a, it. That the I the things. Yeah, I guess Morton's that's just Ludwig. hanging out there. That's Ludwig. That's Ludwig. Or Ludwig. Ludwig, sorry. Can't sorry. you talk? That's, it's because of that fabulous That's hair. what the SNES version's like. Wow. Let's show you what the PC How, version's the, like. Just a glimpse of the it. The fact that Bowser keeps, Bowser keeps up his underlings in a cage Wait, like that's like... So, Luigi, you're looking for your brother. 
I can easily Hi, get do you have a cold? two lovers as cheaply as one. Come here, you. Apparently, his tail's part of a shell. Ha <laughs> ha, Bowser. I always suspected that underneath that macho shell, you were just a boxer turtle. Ooh, boxer turtle. Box turtle. Well, it's not, not like you were saying boxer. Not that bad. I threw it over that wall. So, I took the key. That was the only copy. True. Gee, the penguin kind of looked and like that from up here. Boot. Sayonara, fly breath. Oh uh, no. Uh, Whoa, that had to be the ugliest penguin I've ever that seen. That is not a penguin. <laughs> penguin. Did the penguin just talk to the western? I yeah, it did. Key. Now Mario goes free. <laughs> Bowser's sucking ice. The Koopas aren't nice. Ugh. Wow. Seriously? That was Luigi's voice actor. Oh, Luigi. Uh, it's it's a, a great like I said, it's not good. that bad. It's much nicer to be free. Oh, God, there's Mario's voice actor. I was actor. getting so sick of Bowser's cooking. Yes! I never thought I'd see you again. Oh. It's a happy day. A happy day. <laughs> Thanks for all your hard Luigi. work, Luigi. You went across the world for me, and I won't forget. Hey, Yoshi. Let's oh, God, go here's Yoshi's bro. voice actor. I'm dying for a piece of good Listen. old New York pizza. Yo, welcome back, Mario. Wow. Oh, That's my Yoshi. God. Tons of frequent glider miles looking for you. So what? that was Mario's missing. Oh, my God. Freaking no, no! Don't do the credits. Speed them past now. Get out of here. Just Get going. That all can we just pretend that all never happened? Deal. Yes, please. Let's play. Let's just play Bowser's Inside already. instead. In fact, <laughs> thank better you idea. All. Let's play Bowser's Inside Story instead. Thank yeah. you all. Let's go back to playing some mind-numbing television. Goodbye. Fuck yeah. <laughs> See you guys. Uh, Man, I could really go for some New York style pizza, actually.